Okay, hi, Brett Middleton from MRT Performance. We're going to show you how the stability control works in the Lancer. And what we're going to do first is everything is in standard mode with everything running normally as if you started the car up. And you'll notice when we do the two laps with everything working normal mode, we get to the point here. You'll notice I got my foot actually flat to the floor. The car's throttle limiting it with the uh, electronic throttle control. And you can feel the car jerking backwards and forwards as it changes the traction control front to back and side to side. It's quite violent but it actually works and it's surprising how quick you can go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually go to what we call stability control off. So it's just going to press the button once, which I have now. So I've got the light on the dash and you'll find when the car eventually gets into an oversteer situation, see how it's actually goes but when it gets sideways like now it's still controlling the car makes me look pretty good as a driver but you can drive the car a lot more sideways and control it with the throttle and it's not actually limiting the throttle at all that I'm aware of so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold the button down for more than three seconds, get the skid marks on the dash. So there was now what we call stability control off, off, or fully off. And it's if I use the handbrake, just get it sideways, it's even more. I can do a lot more with the car. As long as I've got the power, this car's got a bit more grunt than standard. It's a bit rough on the drivetrain, but you'll see what I mean. And obviously we'll just turn it all back on again and just show you dramatically, this is back to normal. You see how a car will not go sideways or do anything at all. So there you have it. It's a pretty good example of how fantastic the stability control works in the uh, Mitsubishi Evo 10 and how far technology has come with modern day cars. So there you have it, we've shown you how the stability control works in the Mitsubishi Evo 10. Um, it's 2009-2008 model and it's quite dramatic how much the car changes depending on what you're doing with the stability control by just pressing that single button on the dash which is obviously a factory fitted part in the car.